Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another food shopping haul for you. And yeah, I'm really sad because I'm excited that I've actually been to Aldi. We had a new store open locally. Our two existing local stores are pretty rubbish basically. They're really old, the car parks are really small, they never really have much in stock. So when they opened a brand spanking new store, I had to go and have a look and I was really, really impressed. I know this sounds so silly, but they've got really big spacious aisles so you can actually get past people without like bumping into them. They've got all the new lines, all new freezers and things and their middle aisles were stocked full of Christmas goodies and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to take you through everything I've bought. I did try not to go too mad, but you know when you go into a shop that you don't go into very often, and you tend to just pick up stuff you don't really need. I didn't go in with a massive list, but I did come out with quite a lot of stuff. And none of it was particularly what I would usually buy for a food shop, I don't think. But anyway, you'll see what I mean. I'm going to take you through everything I've bought. And I've got my Christmas decorations up. I'm sure most of you probably have as well. So I'll take you through everything I've bought. I'll let you know how much I spent. And I'm also going to pop in a little shot at the end of the video, just like a montage of my Christmas decorations and bits. Because it's December and they're up and they're pretty and it might make you smile. And I haven't really got another video to put them in, so I thought I'll pop them in here. So if you want to see those, make sure to stick around to the end. Subscribe if you like this kind of thing and let's go and have a look at what I bought in our new Aldi. Okay, so... I definitely got sucked into certain things, I'm not going to lie. I went in with a very small list and came out with all this, but it will all get used. So I've got some British red potatoes, some romaine lettuce, some carrots for a roast dinner, some of these persimmons, which were, I think they were like 95p, I really, really like these. Some Braeburn apples, I've got some red seedless grapes and two cucumber, you know when you go to a new shop and it takes you forever to find everything and I could not find them, but I did. So we've got two cucumbers, some meadow flower, like butter, it looks a bit like a clover ripoff. Some of these little mini pepperoni snacks. Most things are just a little bit cheaper, like these were 160, where on offer they're two pound in Sainsbury's or Tesco. And I think full price are about two pound 40, so quite a bit cheaper. Some of the pots of chock, these were a pound for four. Some broccoli rice, these are really nice. I remember the boys eating these when they were little all the time. These were one pound 75 for six. Then I got kind of sucked into the takeaway bits. So these are gooey cookies, there's four in here. These were somewhere around one pound 60 as well and you heat them up in the oven. And I think it's the oven. Put them in the oven? Yeah, you put them in the oven and they come out like you would get them fresh from like a takeaway so I thought that was really nice. I got some mini hash brown waffles because we like waffles and we like hash browns so we got the two. Last time I went to Aldi someone said I should have picked up the cheesy hash browns so they're basically hash browns with like a soft cheese middle so I've got some of those and some of the skin on fries these are like really really nice especially done in the air fryer. I got two lots of these gastro hot buffalo chicken thigh bites. I thought they would be really nice in a wrap or on a salad. Got some creamy coleslaw, just because we haven't had coleslaw in ages. And I thought we could have ham and coleslaw or cheese and coleslaw sandwiches. I got some of this Red Fox Red Leicester, which is like my favorite cheese at the moment. I really, really like it. So if you've not tried it and you like Red Leicester, really recommend that one. And also some West Country Extra Mature Cheddar as well. I got a chocolate orange, um, like Christmassy bits. I got chocolate orange, it was 99p in there. We've got some caramelised biscuit chocksticks. So these are already in the freezer. I got two lots, they are new in, and they look very much like Biscoff. I think that's probably the idea. Uh, caramelised biscuit ice cream coated with caramelised biscuit spread and a milk chocolate decorated and milk chocolate, decorated with caramelised biscuit crumbs. So yeah, they're basically Biscoff ice creams. They were £1.69 for three. We have our tree up, but it is not Christmas unless you have got your tree decorations. So I got two packs of those, they're only 99p. So we got some little Santas and some little, I don't know, presents. Uh, I might pop a clip of our Christmas tree in at the end of this video if anyone's interested in seeing it. Just because I haven't got another video to put it in really. So 
it's Christmassy and I'll just stick it in. Got some Santa lollies. You can get these every year, they're just really nice. Chocolate. I got Steve one of these turkey sandwiches. I thought he could take it to work for lunch one day over the next couple of weeks, like a Christmas lunch. I thought that might be quite nice. I've got a figgy Christmas pudding. This is a blend of plump, juicy vine fruits, figs and nuts drenched with rum and cider with a sticky hidden centre of toffee rum sauce finished with a gold shimmer. That just sounds amazing. This was £8.99 and it serves eight people. So I've got that. This is going to be a love it or hate it, but this is a festive pigs in blankets wood-fired pizza. So it's sourdough and it's topped with Roma tomato sauce, British festive pigs in blankets, British maple turkey, garlic and herb crumb, creamy mozzarella and a scattering of juicy cranberry sauce. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a Christmas pizza, so we got that. Or well, I got that. I also got one of my absolute favourite, favourite scents in the world, the Blackberry and Bay candle. This is a very, very good dupe of the Jo Malone candle. I have the Jo Malone perfume and it's just my favourite. But they've changed the colour and I'm a little bit disappointed because it used to be white. I mean, obviously the candle's still white. But it used to be in a clear jar and I kind of preferred it because it went better with my lounge than like the purple. Although that does look quite classy if you have those colours. This lasts for ages and it was £3.99. So really happy they bought that back. I don't know how long they've had it back, but I'm, I am pleased. And they do do it in B&M, but it doesn't smell anywhere near as good. I also got two of these Lacura Spa like bath soaks. One's a foaming bath soak. And the other one is a luxury bath float. I thought they would make lovely gifts if you wanted to do like a stocking or something. I think they were £1.69. This one is, what's it got in it? Aloe extract and silk protein. This one's got honeysuckle and apricot oil. Just think that some of their packaging is so like, upmarket. I got some cheese slices, <laughs> back down to earth, and some boil in the bag rice. Cranberry sauce for a, I'm doing turkey and cranberry croissants at some point. Some of these are favourite sweet drop red peppers in brine. These are just really, really nice. A tomato ketchup. I got some puff pastry cheese and bean slices and some steak slices. Uh, these are just handy for like lunches over the weekend or something for like teenagers to grab. Some sausage rolls. Paracetamol, which are like 29p. You can probably hear I have not been too well and we are tearing through the paracetamol. I've got some British smoked ham, some cheese strings, some wraps. I've got a vanilla room spray, a double strength squash. This is like the no added sugar what I normally buy. I've got a fake like pot noodle chicken and mushroom one. I think these are 39p. And then two of the like Asian inspired Thai sweet chili, which were 59p. We had run out completely of all like lunch breads, if you know what I mean. So I've got croissants to make the turkey and cranberry croissants. I got some bagels, some brioche buns for some mega burgers. I'm making sourdough crumpets just because they're my favourite. I love sourdough crumpets with scrambled egg. Pan of chocolate and brioche, which I buy pretty much every week. I've got some cheesy topped rolls. They're so pale. I, mean, I actually like them like this. You know, you can get them when they're really, really like golden brown. Um, but these are very, very pale. So <laughs> I've got some of those. I thought they'd go quite nice with like a soup or something. We've got some sweet chili multigrain waves, some light crinkle cut, ready salted, and then some crispy fries. Where you, they were like, you get four ready salted, some cheese and onion and some salt and vinegar. Then I got some of these jive bars, which are like Twix kind of things. I think these were something silly, like 59 or 69p. Some chocolate hazelnut filled soft bakes and some chocolate chip soft bakes. I got two bottles of wine. This is really, really reasonable. I got a Malbec, which was 4 49 And I also got this one. I can't pronounce it. Is it... <laughs> Vionnaire, Vionnaire, Vioge, I don't know, Vionnaire. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's a very, very nice white wine. And I think that was only like £5 or something. Two oat milks, some golden yolk eggs to have 
like poached eggs. I just like really like the golden yolk ones. And then some toilet tissue. This is their premium. It was somewhere around six pound for 24 rolls, which is pretty good. And it's three ply with a floral scent. So that is everything I bought. And I'm just going to get my receipt because you know in Aldi where they literally throw the stuff at you. I can't even remember how much it came to. So I'm going to find my receipt. Okay, so it came to just somewhere around £94, like £94.23. and pence. It wasn't too bad, actually. There's quite a lot here for that price, and it will keep us going now for a while. So what I'll do now, if you did want to have a look, is just pop in a little clip of my Christmas decorations, just to get you in that festive mood. video I really hope you've enjoyed it I just loved it <laughs> this was like my favorite shopping trip for a really long time and I know I'm gonna be using Aldi a lot more for my shopping now which is also really exciting but really sad if you did enjoy this video please make sure to leave me a like and subscribe if you're not already and I'll be back really soon with another video take care guys mm -hmm.